Okay, in this video, I wanna walk you through the anatomy of a great Facebook post. And a lot of our clients were able to use a bunch of different testing techniques and we've come up with a way to post and do a few things. First of all, you're gonna get twice the impressions if you do it this way. Second, you are also going to be able to adjust your messaging, which is really powerful. And third, it's gonna be more visual, so more people are gonna comment and like and cool stuff like that. So let's walk you through how to do it. When you are an administrator of your business page and you are in administration mode, you'll notice that it says what's on your mind when you land on the page. I don't want you to put stuff in on the what's on your mind. That's deceiving. So what I want you to do is to click right here. See the photo? Click. Boom. You'll see upload a photo, take a photo, or create an album. This is for your business. This also works for personal sites as well, but I want to make sure that for your company, you're uploading a photo 95% of the time. We click upload a photo and here's what we get. You can then choose a file from your hard drive. Some of you are probably saying, oh, I, I attach a link and it shows a photo. That is very, very different. I want you to actually download a photo to your computer, to your hard drive, and then physically upload it. You'll get twice the impressions and you'll unlock this little message area which we'll be able to adjust at a later time. So we picked a photo, this is for our radio station, it's a little bit fun and wild. We want to be the face of our station, nominate yourself or a friend to be one of our fangirls and stuff like that, and then there's a link. You've seen in the other videos as to why we do our call to actions, how our messaging, this message was looked over by the station and everything, and then you click share. Now we've uploaded, we've clicked photo, upload an image, chosen a file, put our carefully crafted messaging in there, other people have looked over the messaging ahead of time, no spelling errors, boom. This is what appears in the feed. You can see a clear square version of the brand, which is the radio station. You'll see a question, a call to action, and some people that are the call, the, the, uh, the fangirls of the week and stuff like that. You're gonna see some social proof. This will get twice the impressions as a status update or a link or a video. Now. This is what people see when they rifle through the photos. Long after, they're gonna to get to know your brand. And this is a radio station, so they're a little bit more fun. And you can see their social proof. Here's the nice thing. If this, if this were to change this campaign, and if you wanted to link to a different page, click this little edit this photo button that exists down there. You can then edit the message, keep the picture, and also you're going to be able to edit the message and keep the social proof. So all these comments and likes, as other people not go through them, you're able to change where you send traffic, which is huge and key. So I really, really want you to take a quick peek at that and make sure that you are uploading pictures by using this technique, upload a photo, pick it from your hard drive, put in your awesome message, You'll double your impressions. You're going to double the likes usually and the comments, but make sure that message is stellar.